the sound. Thank you for getting the 40 Arabic Rhythms CD resource pack. Sam and I have put together rhythms from Egypt, the Levant, North Africa and the Gulf. This is a really jam-packed series with rhythms from Adani to Zorafat. It's a double CD resource pack and also we have the essentials of the Arabic Rhythms plus some extra rhythms that may be a little rarer. This was recently recorded in Cairo and there are 40 high quality tracks on your CDs created for the belly dance student or teacher or the drumming enthusiast to practice with and become familiar with a spectrum of Arabic rhythmic grooves. It's also a perfect accompaniment for mine and Sam's live drum dance classes or his percussion classes. Your 40 Arabic Rhythms digital CD resource pack will contain the following. This video, CD1, which are Arabic rhythms 1 to 20, CD2, rhythms 21 to 40, plus a third CD, which is a bonus of Egyptian tabla solos recorded in Cairo. And there's also a PDF of the 40 rhythm time signatures and a very brief description, perhaps where they came from or where they may be used. These tracks are easy to download and each track is approximately three minutes long, which is a perfect length to practice to. When dancing to live drums, it's really important to understand that there are gravity points within each rhythm. This is something that I do cover in my other courses, but at least by listening to various rhythms, you're going to start to identify where the gravity is in the rhythm, and that's normally on the dum beat or the bass beat. My belly dance journey began with performing to live Arabic bands and percussion in Australia in my teens. In my early 20s, I was dancing and performing professionally in Cairo with both classical rock sharki and folkloric bands, and also studying with Mahmoud Reda in Egypt. This gave me a wonderful grounding knowledge and appreciation for Arabic rhythms and their movement connection. In fact, the rhythmic soul of Egyptian music became the foundation for A to Z belly dance. Sam and I share an interest in traditional and lesser known musical styles of the Arab world, so we produced this CD and furthermore developed our Rhythmic Essence workshops for belly dancers with an aim to explore a wider spectrum of Arabic rhythms. Arabic rhythms have always been used for everything you can imagine, from trance and spiritual practices, as well as many different types of festivals and celebrations, even martial arts and war. I recently returned to Egypt with the intention of exploring the entire region and the rhythms of my ancestors. My aim with producing this CD was to uncover a broader spectrum of rhythms to share and encourage dancers and musicians to expand beyond the popular mainstream. As a drummer, if you can play and feel the rhythm deeply, you will elevate other musicians playing alongside you. If you're really able to feel it as a dancer, your connection with the music will be much greater and you will most definitely stand out. Keddie and I created this CD for belly dancers and drummers to get familiar with a broader range of fresh and awesome Arabic grooves. So what we're going to do 
going to do now is listen to the percussion section one by one, so you can break it down. Uh, the duf is an instrument that is used in not just the baladi music, but the Sufi music as well. It's got a very light, airy kind of feel coming through it, but it does hold a good bass. They used to be made from, of course, like you know, fish skin or even shark, shark skin as well, and um, wooden frame. And the smaller dufs were always more in the women's uh, realm. So a lot of female players used to play duf. while the tabla plays the more intricate fills. We're going to listen to the, the hola, then we're going to listen to sabla on the tabla, and then together.
play us some red. Rick um, is like a little little doof, and it's often mother of pearl or wooden, and it's got the sagat all around the edge. Usually, it's a uh, fish skin because it's fine, with a fine sound. And um, with a sagat, it's kind of like they, they have to get used to playing sagat as well as drumming. So there's a lot of action in the hands and the fingers. Now. When he plays it, sometimes he plays it down here, sometimes up here. And it's interesting, there's a kind of um, vertical shaking happening, whereas with the, uh, the drums, the bigger, bigger ones, there's a more horizontal movement, right? You feel it? Horizontal or on the spot, on the spot or horizontal. Whereas this one shakes, but so there's more of this vertical sensing. So just watch while he's playing, what happens with it? Where is it? Where is it in the body? Where is the energy going to hit the body? It normally hits it right in the same place it's played.
thank all the musicians, artists, and drummers that helped us in creating this CD. We had so much fun making it, and we look forward to continuing these kind of adventures. Thank you. If you'd like to stay in touch with what Sam and I are doing with Rhythmic Essence, please head over to our website, rhythmicessence.com, or join us on Facebook. And once again, we thank you so much for purchasing this product and supporting not only us, but also the musicians who helped make it possible.